I'm Bambi Francisco, and I'm here at the Semantic Technology Conference, and I'm speaking with Tomas Imelinski. He's the Executive Vice President of Global Search and Answers for Ask. Tomas, thanks for joining me. Thank you. Tomas, what's the marginal gain semantic technology is bringing to the search experience? I think that ideally it would be one uh, shorter distance between query and answer. So the, uh, today what you have to do is to often to get an answer you have to rephrase your query many, many times mm -hmm. uh, because the choice of keyword is important, the order sometimes is important, the synonyms, you know, dropping words, etc. You know, so people who are good at search are those who, who can rephrase and get the answer. That shouldn't happen. You know. This is the poor job by a search engine. That's essentially the uh, shifting the job to the user. Mm -hmm. So the value is clear. I mean, it's a better product. It's, it's a product which gives Getting you into answer, the answer right, right, right into the answer as opposed to uh, into a page when you have to scroll and click and, you know, continue this, this process. So it's time. We are, you know, we are out of time. We, we, we are in rush. We, we want to get the answer. And, uh, and we don't because, because the search is still in, sure. in a keyword uh, space. And, yeah, in this keyword paradigm. How much uh, closer to understanding intent are we, or are the search engines, um, compared to, say, five years ago? Yes, they are closer, and, and, and the main reason, uh, and less, less, you know, intent, uh, maybe less so, but uh, here's how search engines get away with, with not being semantic. Essentially, they get away by users tagging the pages, in all possible ways because they want pages to show up. So, you yeah. know, if I have a, if I, if I am smart, you know, about, my, you know, my page, I'm going to put all the synonyms of what is there and even more, right? Yeah. And, and uh, search engine could get away with, a, with a not understanding that two words are the same because I already did it, you know, as, mm -hmm. a, as a user. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it opens door to spammers and to people who already abuse it. So, mm. uh, so Search is more semantic because there's more tagging on the web, but search engines do very little towards being semantic. Essentially, they rely on eagerness of users to, to, to come up in, in search results. So let's talk about semantic technology, which is essentially trying to get computers, at least the way I understand it, to really understand the data, make sense of the data, to be able to discern the, da the data. So if semantic technology were a human, how old, how old is their understanding? What grade are they in? Is it in? Uh, I don't think that's uh, even in a grade, you know. I think it's... Uh, <laughs> in the womb? It's a slightly... Uh, well, I would say it's, it's funny because it's a... Uh, you know, I don't want to make uh, tasteless analogies, but, you know, I mean, how would you call someone who can speak but cannot reason? You know, it's kind of mindless right? mm -hmm. because a search engine knows all the words, more words that probably you and I know. One I and mean, a half year old. Uh, oh, definitely more, but, but mm -hmm. it, it cannot distinguish, it cannot understand, as I mentioned you to this example, the top ten, uh, numerical and top ten, uh, in, you know, uh, uh, in, in words are, are equivalent queries. There's no way these two queries, if I ask you top ten songs and top ten songs, so there's no way I could say yeah. that these are different queries. Okay. And why would I present a different page as a number one result? And, uh, and we do it. If not top ten, then top three. If not uh, population of uh, country and how many people live in a country. I mean, uh, so think about this, right? If you, if you ask a human being twice the same question, but you would rephrase it, you get a nervous reaction. You get a very mm -hmm. negative reac reaction saying, why are you asking me the same thing? Wait, one more question. Um, Bing and Wolfram, Alf, uh, Wolfram Alf, Alpha yeah. uh, just released, both of them, uh, anyway, pretty recent, relatively recent to ask. Does that take us a, uh, does that not a quantum leap forward, but uh, what are your thoughts on how they're advancing search? I think that, uh, so Bing, uh, definitely great job. I mean, I, I really like improvements on, on Bing. Uh, I think it's, it's definitely a better search experience than live mm. previous search, yeah. and they have uh, they have several features which I which I love. Uh, I mean, I love uh, very simple, uh, you know, navigational query which shows just one URL and doesn't clutter results, you know. Mm -hmm. Or if you uh, hit traffic and it shows you your traffic in San yeah, and but, things like but simple things like in, that. In, in the same time, and, and, and I mentioned it to, uh, to 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 them, you know, is. So you say traffic, and, and you get traffic where you are. But you know, if you if your IP address is uh, 
is a different one because you're using a provider. It will show you the traffic in Washington. Mm. And so now if I want to refine and say traffic in San Jose and zip code, uh, eventually I'll break it. Mm. Uh, uh, and not intentionally. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I, in fact, the, the biggest problem with this and, and other searches, you want to be more helpful to a search engine by adding more specificity and you throw it out completely, you make it more difficult. Mm -hmm. So if I, if I specify my query in a human conversation, mm -hmm. if I say traffic in Edison, New Jersey, mm -hmm. 08837, you know, it's easier, you know, if you know it, it's right. easier for you to answer. But for a search engine, oh, you know, it didn't have a zip code in a, in a page or it didn't have right. a city, or it only has South New Jersey, it doesn't right. have Edison, it's going to be thrown out. So yeah. in that respect, the, you know, Bing is still, you know, it's an improvement, but it's still exactly the problem which I'm describing, you know. So it has a great feature, traffic, but triggering has to be invariant, you know. You, you, you know, it's, it's disappointing that, you, that it knows traffic, right. but you cannot, you cannot answer yeah, right. You cannot govern. Yeah. <laughs> you have to ask, ask right. in the right way. Okay, Tomas, thank you so much for your insight. Sure, sure. I've been speaking with Tomas Imelinski. He is the Executive Vice President of Global Search and Answers for Ask. I'm Bambi Francisco.